Hey, what's going on? I got a new video to share with you guys. Um, it's the first convention we've had here in the Phoenix area in quite some time, and it is Phoenix Fan Fusion. The lineup this year, I don't think was filled with too many people I really wanted to see, but there was one in particular that I wanted to meet just because I think she has got a fantastic voice and she's got some great acting skills as we've seen in Doom Patrol and also in Encanto, which is probably the biggest thing she's been in recently. And it is, reflection there, Diane Guerrero from Encanto, Voices, Isabella. She's also Crazy Jane on Doom Patrol and she's been in a couple other things, but I think like her career is just gonna keep going higher, especially after this uh, Disney film that came out. Super sweet. Um, go into detail about uh, the little meet and greet photo op and everything that happened at the convention today. Let's take a look first at the Funko Pop because I know that's what this channel is mainly about. Um, and you can see there she signed it in green. Um, she had been signing in purple. I asked if she could sign in green. I gave her the green paint pen I had. Um, it was fresh. A little bit of smearage on the G and then on the W and what else can I do? I asked if she could write what else can I do because that's the song from Encanto that she sings and is iconic for. And then she added her character name with the little flower there uh, as a nice touch. And I was able to get this JSA authenticated. And sometimes you might ask why I get it JSA authenticated if this is something that's probably never going to leave my collection because... And I saw her sign it and I took pictures with her and she signed it. Because if something, God forbid, ever happens to me or, you know, we don't all live forever, that one day somebody can do something with my collection, sell it off, make money, give it to someone else that wants to, you know, have it in their future collection. Another person, not necessarily family. You just, sometimes I think about that sort of stuff. So um, easiest way that any of my family members could ever resell stuff after I pass on would be to have stuff with the COA, so that's a little bit of a trivia there as to why I try to get authentication when I can. Now let's move on to the actual con and getting to meet her. Like, we haven't had an actual con out here in Phoenix since before COVID. Um, so this is like the first kind of big one we've had in a while. Um, probably like in three years. So when they started releasing list of who was showing up, there were some good ones on the list, but none that were like all must-haves or, you know, considering like um, making so many other purchases and stuff through like mail-in autographs. And I also have a trip to Disney World planned this summer and, you know, just trying to find ways not to spend so much. But when they announced um, Diane Guerrero, I was like, oh, no, yeah, I definitely have to go and attend and get something signed from her because... Um, I loved her in Encanto, and uh, she shows up all these different personalities on Doom Patrol, and, like, she's just super talented, and in every interview I've ever seen in her, and, like, she has, like, this really, you know, chill personality and uh, a lot of charisma, and I was like, I'd like to meet this person, and, of course, she's, like, stunningly beautiful and stuff, and she was all that in, in the above, like, when I met her, even though the appearances are very brief when you um, meet somebody for a photo op or an autograph like it still made my day um and it's a memory you know i'll, I'll have um from the future and ever you know <laughs> but yeah i got to take a photo op with her and then i also did the uh selfie and autograph combination just because you never know which one's going to come out better so sometimes when you really want to have a good photo with a person, if you can afford to kind of do those two things or you just pick and choose. If I wanted to get more autographs from other people, then maybe I would have scaled down on putting everything in Diane Guerrero. But she was pretty much the only person I wanted to see at this convention at Phoenix Fan Fusion. Um, so I did the photo op and that came out pretty decent. It's a wide shot, quick shot. I mean, professionally done. And then I did the selfie um, one, which wasn't really a selfie. It was somebody taking a picture in front of her table. And I like that one, too, because it's just more kind of different type of lighting and setting. And and I enjoyed having both those photos. Now, 
in my collection along with this signed pop. Um, and I knew I wanted her to put the quote from the from the song on there just because I think it's inspire, inspiring. And it's also like kind of summarizes her life too. She's uh, had some hardships to get through and her parents uh, got deported. I know that's one of the bigger stories that she's been public about. And, you know, she didn't come from like rich background and like she fought and for her dream and stuff. She stayed in the U.S. because she wanted to accomplish her dreams here in the United States. And she's a United States citizen. But, I mean, that's hard for a lot of people just to kind of leave or be separate from their family in order to pursue their dreams. And she did. And even if she went to like public school or whatever it is, um, she got into, you know, this career and she's been successful at it. Um, and she offered to also sign the photo um, op that I had with her because I just had it with me, but I wasn't going to pay for another autograph. Um, she's like, do you want me to sign that? And I'm like, but I only paid for one. She's like, oh, no, it's up to you. And I'm like, no, yeah, definitely. If you're down to sign, <laughs> sign it. Yes, please. I would love to have that because when I can frame that, it, it's me and her and then she signed it. So that's a cool bonus she threw in there. And so that was my experience with Phoenix Fan Fusion 2022 and Diane Guerrero, the voice of Isabella Madrigal. What else can I do?